Good morning, everybody. Okay, so uh, we are going to start today uh, with these charging modules. That, and I said it the other day wrong. I said the TP, uh, I said T4056 or TP4056, and then mine uh, have the thermal protecting chip on. I believe it's this guy right here. I could be wrong, but uh, you want one that looks like this. Uh, so it, it also has the thermal protection. Um, so we're going to, I have about 20 of these guys and all of these uh, cell holders, yeah, which I'm going to uh, dremel or just clip these off because it's a pain in the butt to get them in and out. Uh, if I were you, I would go ahead and get one that do not have these. I ordered these, of course, from China. Uh, and I, I, the picture does not show that they had them. So, uh, you know, whatever. I'm not gonna go through the problem and mess of, of sending them back. I'll just cut them off and every deal. Uh, but anyhow, uh, so we're gonna line them all up. We've got some 3M double-sided tape, and we will. Uh, I got some let's see, 14 gauge red and 14 gauge black. Here we go. We'll roll of that. Soldering iron and uh, a power supply. I bought off Craigslist for like literally five or ten bucks um, because I didn't have an extra one sitting around. Uh, so wire holder, scissors, uh, heat shrink, solder, and a vise, which I guess I really don't need right now. But vise. Uh, so anyhow, uh, that's the gist. So we're gonna set up a little station here and get cracking. And so one more thing is that uh, here's my little Opus that I have, and it's working right now on the four batteries that were in the, or four of the cells that were in the previous video. Hello, Bill. Sorry. All right, let me see if I can pull this around here. It's not coming out. Uh, so this is one of the cells from the last video, and yeah. A uh, solid performer. Uh, if you remember the spec sheets, uh, it was said 2600 and we're at 2554, so that's hard to complain about. I'll probably go ahead and rejacket this one, but um, yeah, I I'm, was very pleased with it. So uh, hopefully the rest of them are the same the same way. So, but it's gonna be a big upgrade from that little Opus to uh, this thing. And I wanted to show you also uh, that. The, whenever I ordered these, it, it is printed on there. It's on the back. Uh, it says yeah, TP4056 Protect. Um, they came in little, like they're actually connected together. You actually have to kind of break them apart, which I, made me a little nervous at the first, but and it's like, you know what? We've done stuff like this before. So yes, I, I know you're here. I know it. It's okay. So anyways, um, yeah, that's Huck, by the way, if you didn't know. And he's very interested in the projects that I do all the time. You're a good boy. Yes. Okay. So now we're going to go ahead and, uh, like I said, we're going to break all these things apart. We're going to lay all this stuff out and probably start taping it down. And we're going to go into fast mode for that. So cool story is that I, on my laptop, hit the record button at the start recording and it was going and then I accidentally tapped the stop before I stopped. So all of this is done. <laughs> what an idiot. Um, and man, uh, it, so it, literally all I did, I just cut little bitty pieces of this double sided tape and put it on here. And uh, so they're all here. But if this, I'll tell you what, if this doesn't break your OCD, I don't know what ever would. The tab's on the wrong side. <laughs> like, all of these ones are on the top. <laughs> and then this last five on the bottom. So, anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and remove this from all of them and let it be but oh what a what a goofy thing anyways so yeah they all have double-sided tape on the back of them sorry you didn't get to see a time lapse probably better that way anyways uh shorter video so but anyway uh <laughs> yeah i'm gonna go ahead and break all these tabs off Uh, at least some time lapse, but yeah, so anyways, I just cut those little ends off, which you probably should do anyways, but I just didn't even care about it until the rest of them were, were like that. So now it's time I'm gonna pull this pull this screw out of here, and then we're going to line these all up and uh, fit these these guys into place. Uh, I'm gonna see if I can, I might even just clip these off uh, with some uh, snips or something. I think I might have something. Otherwise, you could use a Dremel tool. I don't have mine with me here, but yeah. All 
All right, well, we got to a point to where being on the floor was no longer advantageous, so uh, we have cut these to close to length. Uh, this black side's a little bit longer, but I'd rather it be just a little long than too short. So anyhow, um, you'll notice on these, this specific one, you have the in on this side and the out on this side. So you can actually uh, go through, or you know, parallel these, or if you will, go through, serialize them uh, to where you uh, go out of this one and to the end of that one. But uh, we're going to do the B plus B minus. It's the battery plus and minus. So uh, the black will go there and the red will go there. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and solder this in. All right, so I'm gonna tell you what, don't do what I did and buy the wrong crap up front. Uh, buy the right things, but I went ahead and cut all of these off. They're all, all those stupid tabs are gone. And I, that was, I seriously think that took longer than the rest of this whole project together. So uh, anyways, that, that was a pain in the butt. But now we're gonna stick all of these guys down and luckily, as I look at the PSU that I bought, it actually fits on the board perfectly right here. So I might even stick that down and as I pull all that stuff out and it would, it would work perfectly. So we'll see what I do though. I'm not sure just yet. So, but that, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and stick all these down and then solder all these points into place. So one thing as I go here that I'm realizing is that these are getting wider and I didn't quite leave as much space in here. So I'm gonna have to pull these up and lay these out a little bit tighter and then uh, tack these back down. So I, I've got the first fiber. I mean, they're in pretty well uh, soldered in and uh, that one's a little bit messy, but it's okay. Pretty sure it's fine. Uh, I can check continuity between I mean, it would be fine either way. So, I don't know. Um, I'm going to pull these guys up. I went ahead and uh, tapped all of these with the solder. And so we are uh, ready to go there. And then, so I'm going to pull these up, space them out properly, and then lay them back down. So, we keep going. So, all of these have gotten soldered in, and whenever I was stripping these, I pulled more through, it got tighter back here, so uh, the lengths changed a little bit, but I, you know, that's okay, it doesn't really matter, it's fine, it gets the job done, and so that one's a little crooked, but uh, yeah, they're all connected in, and so now, we kind of get to do the other side, so the battery side is done, which is good. Uh, and now we get to go to the other side where we will do the N positive and N minus, so N negative, um, and we will come off. Um, I'm trying to figure out exactly how I want to go about doing this. I might change it a little bit, but 
but from a lot of people just do a single bar that goes across um, I think I might I haven't really decided I might do a fan I might just do the bar I will see I, the, I have 14 gauge cable which is uh, much thicker than than is needed but as all you see even just between the two of those so um, I might use the 14 gauge you know I might have to do the 14 gauge across the top and then uh, what I was cut, cutting off of this stuff I might use to connect to that so uh, we'll see what I end up doing here uh, I'll show you as I go along though all right guys so a couple days have gone by and I was not proud of the way that this came out to be I, at all and I know that I didn't show this part yet so um, I tried to figure out I only had enough of these connectors to do uh, the two uh, these two lines that I had one here and one here and so the other thing is that like I had the main ATX you know I've got this this uh, jumper cable to have the power on and uh, you know all of these red lines are 5 volt lines those red lines are 5 volt lines so uh, the primary amount of power comes from here and I know inside like a lot of them are pinned out together but I mean more pipes equal more current so in this this uh, power supply there's there's 33 volts on the uh, or excuse me 33 amps on the 5 volt uh, rail so <clears throat> I only have 20 chargers I should be able to get one amp per charger and have plenty left over as long as I have enough uh, supply voltage what was happening though is I had all of these lined up all like 10 and then 10 and when I would put one two three four five six batteries in it would it would die like the rest of them would go like hey there's not enough current available I, I looked it up to, to see um, so I cut it in half it it would work uh, but I, then I've got 10 chips over here that aren't doing anything plus this so I, I really reevaluated what I was gonna do with it and said okay we're gonna change this and make it more better so and yes, that's a joke, more better. So anyways, I'm gonna stop this video because it's already way too long, and we're gonna start the next video, and I'm going to change this to where it's more proper. Yes.